When you look at a linear demand curve, the slope is the same everywhere, by definition. So why does the elasticity change? Remember back what elasticity means. You have a percentage change in quantity demanded divided by a percentage change in price. Let's take a look at a couple points on this curve. Down in the bottom right, we have points X and Y, where X is at 2 cents and 90 units, Y is at 1 cent and 100 units. So if we look at the difference in quantity here, going from 90 to 100, and compare that to the price difference going from 1 cent to 2 cents. If you go from 1 to 2 cents, that's doubling the price. Or if you go the other way, 2 to 1, that's cutting the price in half. That's a really big change compared to this quantity change is close to 10%. Now, if you look at two other points, like point A and B in the upper left part of the demand curve, where A is at 10 cents and 10 units, B is at 9 cents and 20 units, you get the opposite effect here. The quantity going from 10 to 20, that's like a doubling of the quantity. Or if you go the other direction, the quantity is cut in half. In this price change now, from 10 cents to 9 or 9 cents to 10, that's just a small change, maybe close to like 10% or so. What you find is that you have a big change in quantity and a small change in price when you put them in percentage terms. If we go back and do that for points X and Y, you can see that the percentage change in price is big and the percentage change in quantity is small. Now let's take that and put it back into our elasticity formula. And we see that going from X to Y, we get small number divided by big number, and that'll give you a small number. Back between points A and B in the upper left, what you end up with is a big number divided by a small number, which will give you a big number. Big, bigger than one, small, smaller than one, and that's why this works.